Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh It's your brother from another brother None other than Mr. Halal Welcome to the channel you beautiful people I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video guys It's going to be very 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 interesting video The video's title is Word differences in South Asian languages So it's between Indonesian, uh, Filipini, Filipino, uh, Vietnamese and Thailand or Thai. Uh, the video is by World uh, Friends and it was just actually uploaded eight hours ago. So grab some tea, grab some coffee, cold coffee, warm tea, hot tea, cold tea, anything, drink of your choice, grab a seat and let's get started with this video. In Vietnam we say Swai. 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 That's for Vietnamese. <laughs> Mango. Actually, with Filipino, I think there are a lot of similar words, like the word sayang. Oh, yeah. Or the word sayang. Payo, like, that, that's umbrella. Payo. Yeah. And we say payo in Indonesia. For umbrella? Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So there are Filipino, of, Indonesian, like, like Bahasa, really close. English, we definitely mm. have some adopted words from English. I don't think there'll be a lot of interaction this way, but I feel like maybe they have <laughs> a lot of little words from English. Um, maybe sound more English than native to your own language, maybe. Mm. Or some words that are Indonesianified from English. Mm. For, example, mm. for example, the word organization mm. will be organisasi. Organisasi. That does sound Spanish. Yeah. Oh, really? Organisation. Like architecture will be like architecture. Mm. You know, oh, like really? Yeah, it's just Indonesian. That's really cool. Maybe Thailand language is similar, like. Vietnamese. I'm not sure, yeah. but maybe I just think. Yeah, I think about the tone, like the way oh, yeah. we talk. We call the food is pad thai too. Mm. Yeah, that's how we say. Mm. In the Philippines, we also say pad thai. That means dead. Oh, dead? Like die? Die? Like dead people? Oh, what? Yeah, dead oh. Oh, Imagine going to the Philippines saying pad thai. And they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> that's not food. That's talking about dead people. <laughs> Like yeah. Influence. I'm really yeah. interested to see mm. see that the most. I think Philippines so for sure. In the United Heavy. States, we say bread. In Indonesia, it's we say roti. Oh, roti. Yes, I learned that. <laughs> in Just Thai, like we say kanong pang. In the Philippines, we say tinapay in Tagalog, Tana. but in Cebuano, we say pan. So why oh. no? In the Vietnamese, we say ban mi. Ban mi. Oh, oh those sandwiches are so good. Oh, yeah, super delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But ban mi is like yeah, bread in general. Sometimes they put hams and other stuff. In. Chicken, beef, like, no chicken, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ban, ban. <laughs> like the B sound. Yeah. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Other than Indonesian, ben like completely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> roti. <laughs> but we have something roti. like we call roti too. Oh, like a different type of bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So there is a little bit of like similarity. Yeah. yeah. In Thai, that's so cool. So in the United States, we say mango. In mango. Indonesia, we say manga. In Thai, we say mamon. In the Philippines, we say manga. In Vietnam, we say soi. So cool. So Just Vietnamese is different, but the rest are like all <laughs> starts with M. You say like beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> That's sweet, man, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you just call her beautiful? Yeah. Oh wow, like the four of us are like so similar. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like mango, manga. Manga, manga. Indonesian and Philippines is actually almost exactly the same. Mm. We're a manga. <laughs> Even as high, I can hear. Like, Manga is my favorite fruit, yeah, man. Yeah, I and I saw some like oh, trees like, know, in Indonesia know, like, just hanging. I think oh. I would get it. I feel like Thais kind of sound like sexy. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Sexy. Sound very so sexy. Like, <laughs> okay, Indonesia is manga. In the Philippines as well, manga. manga. Oh, this is so exactly perfect. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. We do have actually it's exactly similar words, I think, yeah. Yeah. that will come up. Yeah. So in the United States, we say cat. In okay. Indonesia, we say kuti. In Thai, we say meo. In the Philippines, we say pusa. In Vietnamese, we say meo. Oh, 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 yes. oh, yes. oh my god! Meo. In Thai and Vietnamese, we are pretty close. It's a couple of words they've had. Yeah, we say like that too. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like something like little kids would say in Indonesia, like they would call it meong. Yeah. Oh. Meong. Oh. Yeah, meong. so when you're a little kid, you'd be like, oh, meong, you know, it's like. How about sao? Meong, meong. No? Yeah, it's meong. Yeah. It's meong. Oh. Meong. Meong, 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 meong. I think that mm. Thai and Vietnamese are yeah, the yeah. same. And it's I think like it's like just so the sound cute. of the cat. I, I, I think it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And then yours was. Oh, that's. 
Pusa. We have like a we have a similar like a English word. Cat, guess, you know, right? like the English word like pussy cat can also yes. mean a cat. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so in the United States, I was foreshadowing. In, in Indonesia, we say hijau. In Thai, we say si hijau. In the Philippines, we say bird. In Vietnamese, Birthday. we say san la. Oh. 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 Very cute different. San la. <laughs> And verde yeah. sounds like, I don't know, like Spanish or Oh, it's verde. Verde. Yeah. Mm. verde. Oh. yeah, it's green. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we're all really different in this yeah. in this one, I feel like. Yeah. We're, like. It's not something that we like share across cultures, you know, like one food from one place, but it's it's uh, like a part of our everyday lives. So I feel like it makes sense that it's more individual to each culture, definitely. Mm. So in the United States, we say airplane. In airplane. Indonesia, we say pesawat. In Thai, we say kumbin. In the Philippines, we say aeroplano. In Vietnamese, we say my bye. My bye. I think that's pretty cute. That Vietnamese is so cute. I don't know why. It's just like flying. Like flying mechanism. So in Vietnamese, it means like flying mechanism. Do you guys have a similar like literal translation of airplane? Pesawat basically means like a machine, and the full name would be like pesawat terbang, and terbang means flight. So basically, like a flying machine. Literal translation just flying machine as well. Yeah, I feel like that's also really close to English then as well. Airplano, you said? Yes, airplano. In the United States, we say paper. In Indonesia, we say kertas. In Thai, we say kerdak. Well, that's pretty close. In the Philippines, we say papel. In Vietnamese, we say zai. Zai, but they write with a G. What? Really short. Yeah, I think they're lazy. I'm just kidding. Maybe maybe just efficient. You know, you can pack so much information in like short sounds. Yeah, like even in in Vietnamese, wouldn't the intonation then mean a lot? Oh man, Vietnamese food is delicious. Yeah, so yeah, they have a lot. So what was paper again? Zai. Zai. So if you say zai, would it mean different? Yeah, it's like shoes. Oh, how about sign? Yeah, sign. Yeah. And like writing Vietnamese and English is pretty tough because that G I and then A Y and then they say sign. And then again, I'm very surprised by the Philippines is papel. Papel. That's. I think that's just straight Spanish at that point. I think that one is a very like a loan word. Like. Yeah. Wow. We're so similar. Yeah. Or an L. Do you have like a different word that you use that isn't like us, like from Spanish? Oh, um, like there's Filipino or Tagalog. We say papel. Then there's another dialect that's called Cebuano. Papil. The two dialects understand each other. If we speak What's the difference? No. Oh, so it's really? completely oh. different. Language. Yes. That's so beautiful, though. Because like in America, like, we have people who speak different languages, English. of course, but it's not the same as like the you know seven hundred different like like, mm. like the culture that that holds. Cebu so people. If you know any one of them, stay away from them. They're trouble. In Indonesia, we say payo. In Thai, we say long. In the Philippines, we say payo. In Vietnamese, we say yo. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If we find the Indonesian and Philippines, we're using almost the same stuff. One with a yo and one with a no. Payo and payo. Payo. It's P A Y O N G. And we are P A Y U N G. Okay, so in the United States, we say bicycle. Bicycle. In Indonesia, we say sepeda. In Thai, we say jatayan. In the Philippines, we say bicicleta. In Vietnamese, we say sedap. Now that's long. Yeah. In the Philippines, it's like Spanish for sure. That's so long for Vietnamese. Bicicleta. I mean, I'm really here. Bicicleta. Bicicleta. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's very similar. I feel like a bicycle and bicicleta. It's like they just added something behind. Yeah, but the other three, I feel like you guys are quite distinct. Those, yeah, totally different. Can you guys say yours again? That one too. Sepeda. Cakayan. Bicicleta. Sedap. I, there's like I hear a little bit between like Thai and Vietnamese. No, I mean I feel like a whisper of of similarity there. You yeah. know, a yeah. whisper. So in the United States we say coffee. In I know this one. In Indonesia we say kopi. In Thai yeah, we say cafe. In the oh. Philippines we say cafe. <gasps> in Vietnamese we say cafe. Oh. Everybody <laughs> sings. We found one where we're all similar. <laughs> we did it. But they all end cafe. with an A and yeah. ours end with an E. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. copy. How about when you say copy. you want to go to because like cafe like mm. represents a place. Like how do you say when you want to go to a cafe? Oh, uh, cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. But we also have Thai word like lan cafe, coffee shop, lan oh. lan cafe. Mm. I think we will call it kedai, like kedai actually. 
but pronounced kade, kade kopi, but nobody really uses it. Mm. Like, cafe, you know, mm. it's way cooler. Ah. <laughs> way so cooler. in Vietnamese, we say wang cafe. Mm. It's like cafe. For a place to go to drink coffee, like coffee shop. Mm. But like, yeah. do people like in like younger people still use that, or do they oh. use like yeah. cafe? Yeah, uh, I think younger people they always say. Uh, let's go to cafe, like oh, the cafe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, but they don't include the word Wang. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I was actually really surprised shorter. by um, the similarities between English and Filipino languages. But then it, it kind of makes sense with like the Spanish influence as well. But I was also yeah. really surprised that you adopted so much of that into your your main language. I was expecting that actually there to be more similarities between Thai and Vietnamese. There was. But Vietnamese really stood out as an outlier, which I wasn't expecting. Yes. Mm. So that was that was really fun to hear, though. Very cute and efficient. That's my that's my interpretation. Though. <laughs> I mean, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has coffee, cafe, whatever. Yeah. Like around that yeah. variation. And with Filipino, I think Indonesian has a couple of like similar words too. Yeah. Mm. And with Thai, there was something that was kertas paper was similar oh, with Thai. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah, yeah. And Vietnamese is just very cute. Huh. It's single <laughs> syllable. <Yeah. laughs> but I think it would be really difficult to learn your language. Like, yeah. oh, it is. Because, it's you know, like, pretty zai, unique, zai, so. it's like, it has like different yeah, like, like, meaning. Yeah. And it's just the same word. So today mm. we compare different words between South and South. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. We'll see you soon. Bye! Bye. That was pretty cool, guys. I, I wasn't expecting. Uh, for them to have similarities uh, between like also Thai and Vietnamese but there were some uh, Bahasa or Indonesian words that were close to um, to it but I was expecting that you know Tagalog for, or uh, you know Filipino um, has some words that are close to Indonesian because even um, I've seen in the past like Salamat I think we you guys use also like uh, Salamat Ditang it's like thank you which they have that word as well like they say also uh, with respect like Po and I think you guys uh, um, do as well like Cafe um, pretty pretty close uh, you know words and and Swana because of the region I think it has a lot of um, mixture right because once um, colonization basically went into effect in these uh, countries that's when they started putting borders and divided them and they called them like you know you are let's say Indonesia you're Malaysia you're Borna you're Afghanistan you're Pakistan but at one point there was no borders right people were easily just uh, you know traveling doing business with each other and intermixing uh, so that's how like the languages subhanallah started to kind of uh, change from that and especially um, you know for countries that are so close to each other uh, like the asian countries in this case the words are pretty close and then similarly like if you look at uh, let's say afghanistan and pakistan or let's say india there are words that are close to each other because these are the neighboring uh, countries uh, but subhanallah, you know, if like I think if you go to China, that would be like a big difference between let's say India, Pakistan, and and Afghanistan because the language is totally uh, different. But who knows? There might be you know if, they, if we did some comparison, there could be possibly that some words that are pretty close to each other even uh, between Chinese, just because of the fact that people used to be free to be able to roam around uh, between different countries, and now they have made it harder where you know you need to show passport and you know there's borders and fences and 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 whatnot. But but, um, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it free for all of us to be able to go any part of uh, the world, right? And these borders are just basically man-made. So pretty cool video, guys. It was awesome. Uh, I hope you guys uh, liked it as much as uh, I did. If you did, then don't forget to smash that like button. And also... Leave a comment uh, in the comment uh, section. Let me know what did you guys think. Were you expecting some similarities or, or uh, not? And also, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. That'll help me, inshallah, reach my goal of uh, 500k right now in the short term as well as long term, 1 million. So I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you very much for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and family. Inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and wassalam.